So on your HP units, what you're going to want to do is shut down any of the applications you have open. Once they're shut down, click on start in the bottom left, click on the shut down icon, click on restart. And then while it's restarting, you're going to spam press F2 on your keyboard, which is that button up the top left there. So it's restarting now, we're going to spam F2. Now this will work on any HP model. So what you can see here, I'll just take the camera off this stand and I'll try and get a better shot for you. There we go. So you can see we've got a memory test, a hard drive check and language exit. So you'd want to start with your memory test, so press enter and use your arrow keys. So that's all I'm doing here to go up and down. Once you're in it, press enter to go into it. Now, if you do believe you have an issue with your memory or with your hard drive, I'd recommend you do an extensive check. Please note, this can take a very long time, so you do need to be prepared for it. Although, if you are having failing hardware, you may be in a situation where it's not an option and you'll have to just do the check anyway. Now, that's how it looks on the back office. I'm gonna quickly demonstrate what it looks like on the point of sale. So the process here is much the same. So down the bottom here, I've got my keyboard physically attached to the point of sale, which you'd have to do. But on the locked screen, there is a restart PC option, which we're gonna click and click yes to. While it reboots, we're gonna spam F2, same as what we did on the back office machine. There we go. So this is what the screen looks like on the point of sale. So it is a little bit similar, but it's just a little nicer looking. So I'll just do the same thing here. So, all right, so here we are. So similar thing, I'm just gonna go in a little bit there so that you can see it a little bit better. You have system tests and component tests. So you can go system test and go extensive and it's gonna test everything for you. Or component test and it's got every single individual component. And that way you can test individual things if you think perhaps maybe just a hard drive needs to be replaced. In which case, there's a link in the top right right now to where one of our videos explains how to swap a hard drive in one of these RP9 units. Alternatively, we've got them on the RP7s as well, and the RP7, RP9s are both HPs, so it'll work for them. Again, if it has the HP logo, the F2 on boot will take you to diagnostics so you can start trying to figure out what's going wrong with the unit. Thank you for watching.